we have three very special guests with us tonight, um, three directors from three different countries. We have Bugs Bargava. I hope I uh, pronounced your name correctly. Yes, um, you can say it any way you want to. So you've directed Bharat House for Z5, and now you've directed um, A Court from Drama Nail Polish for the same platform. Um, Asim Abbasi, you've directed the first Pakistani web series for Z5. And we have our own um, Anum Bishash. Uh, he has directed the second um, Z5 original from Bangladesh, which is called What the Fry. Um, so uh, a very warm yeah. welcome to everyone. And can we first start by talking a little bit about your projects uh, with this uh, uh, streaming uh, platform? The last one was about uh, India's youngest serial killer. Uh -huh. He was nine years old. And this one is, uh, is part of the serial killer trilogy that Z had conceived. And uh, so this one's another, but approaches it very differently, approaches it in the courtroom. And Asim Abbasi, your project? Yeah, mine was in Urdu slash Hindi. Um, it was called Trails. It was a 10 episode series that came in August. It was about four women uh, running a detective agency to find cheating husbands. <laughs> oh, I'd love to see that. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Anum Bishash, what's your next uh, show about and who is starring? This story about uh, a film actress who's kind of uh, bipolar and some, somehow she meets a guy and uh, they, they start a conversation which is uh, fictional but uh, strange and kind of funny and that guy is kind of uh, the, just the opposite of her. Like she's in the uh, peak of this uh, social media driven uh, life that we have. And the guy is like rather simple and kind of minimalist. Uh, you three being from three, three countries, um, how do you feel the streaming services have nurtured homegrown talent? You know, suddenly, um, you know, from being completely unapproachable, like a young filmmaker would be running around from door to door and couldn't even find the door most often. <laughs> suddenly has access you know suddenly has access and you've got uh, like these two ideas that I've heard are you know unusual creative brilliant ideas and Z will listen to them this is making it more accessible it's really energizing the storytelling business is it the same in Bangladesh and Pakistan I mean, for me, yeah, absolutely. I mean, industry that is very, very small, very nascent. We completely lost that film industry. So, and we've been trying to revive it, but now, um, you know, between the censor boards and the type of content that is made, there is a lot of restrictions in what you can show, uh, the topics that you can engage with, the type of audiences you can engage with. And I think OTT uh, and my experience with Z5, it just completely mm -hmm. broadened the horizons because they were literally like, we are handing the power back to you as the as the content creator yeah and it's also uh, giving the power back to the audiences yeah. right yeah yeah, yeah. I, I think i i, I, I filmmakers the creative minds uh ott uh, and ott platform and z5 is kind of a way where actually they can express themselves and the kind of liberty that z5 is uh, uh, coming up with and and the uh, their way of making the content uh, uh, we, they want to make global standard content. Any, any creative endeavor will put up, will throw up its own challenge. Like it takes courage to approve an idea and say, hey, listen, guys, go with it. Z5 does that. And that makes me excited. More people are consuming content online now and the streaming services are becoming more popular, especially during the pandemic. So do you think that theaters will be obsolete because of this new revolution? See, movie going, going to the cinema, there's still that excitement, you know, it's a social thing, the families go, or you go with friends and stuff like that. I just feel that, you know, maybe your blockbusters, your big films, your, you know, the, the ones that, uh, that showcase a whole panorama of actors, uh, that might still be a big summer release, you know, uh, winter release, those things will continue, the big ones will continue. And I also feel more than the films, the, the, the cinema owners will have to start looking at it as an experience. What more yeah. can I offer? Yeah. You know, I think that's going to be the key. They have to get creative now. Going back to um, the streaming content, um, Z5 is hosting a global content festival. It would be great to get people, more people getting involved in this, in this medium and this business. Young people want to make films. Yeah. They want 
tell stories and 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 they will bring fresh thinking to it how do you say this as opposed to the you know traditional physical festivals i mean you giving distribution i think that becomes a huge deal because it's like kind of democratization of 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 talent of vision so i think that's a huge deal i don't think that something like that has happened before um can you share an you know memories while shooting there are too many <laughs> stories i was doing 10 60 minute episodes um oh. we shooting for like over four months so it was a it was a huge female driven uh, uh you know uh show and i think it was just uh, just the, the 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 vibe and the spirit of it was very happy the previous one that barot house uh we made the film came back uh, the shooting it was was a was a we were shot in like i said in a cyclone and everything i came back and we edited it and then it was fine it was the way the screenplay was written and everything so one night i woke up and said listen this is not the way to tell the story so on a envelope i wrote a different structure and and had it reedited and i must say z didn't bat an eyelid they said yes you're right this is the right way to tell the story so the whole thing from being a linear thing became long non linear and chapterized and we were something like 7 days from the release but they stood by me and they worked with me and they made it happen so that's the uh, you know that's the kind of support i think you get from yeah from a company like z5 okay so we're at the end of the discussion uh if anyone want to make the closing remarks then we can z has uh, given uh, me probably to you and uh, to make contents that we want to make it's nice uh, talking to you guys now, from across borders all of us meet and connect and connect yeah. on something that you know is close to our yeah. hearts and close to all our hearts our hearts are yeah. born in different countries <laughs> but our hearts are the same hearts everywhere are the same so i think yeah, this is a yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's, a, it's another way of what what z5 is doing when all those hundreds of countries goes to this united states okay, okay yeah. so thank you bugs asim and anand bhai thank and next time i do really yeah. want to see more women we're on the same guys as well. <laughs> yes yes <laughs> yeah. yeah true true thank yeah. you take care guys